this is Kelly from uh, Moon by Tarot, here to do your collective daily love reading. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. Please do click the uh, subscribe button if you enjoy these readings. I'm here every day, um, uh, unless there's a day I can't be, Monday through Thursday, giving a daily collective all signs reading. And on Thursdays, I will give you the weekend reading. All right, so let's get started with your reading. Hope you are all doing well. Let's see what the energies are. I'm going to do a Celtic cross to see what the love messages are for you and the person you are connecting or connected to either in the 3D or the 5D. Okay, let's take a look at the past energy here. Okay, the past is the Eight of Cups. All right. And the present is the Knight of Pentacles crossed by the Four of Cups. Driving the reading is the devil, crowning the four of wands. All right, in your future, eight of swords, position of you and your advice, three of swords. External to you, page of pentacles, hopes and wishes, the ace of wands, and the outcome is the two of swords. All right, bottom of the deck, the high priestess. So this is Piscean energy. Um, there's an unknown secret. Or a secret that is being kept at this time this is the overall message here and the secret is somebody deser uh, desires change and also I feel like someone is in a position of waiting for you to reach out to them or waiting for some type of reciprocal energy um, but they feel like you are standing up with these real strong boundaries you're being a bit kind of blocked or guarded um, and this person feels left out in the cold but it feels like they want to either receive a love offer from you or make one to you they want to warm your heart so this is what the secret is here okay um, this wheel of the year you know this just they want to make some kind of change here but there I don't know it's not so much a fear um, of reaching out it's just for some reason they feel like they can't get through maybe you have them blocked or you just have it like your guards are up or your duke your dukes are up in some way so the past position is the eight of cups so some type of journey that you and your person were on in the past seeking that ninth cup seeking you are on a path to manifest wishes and dreams and hopes with the eight of cups you're on a journey okay and um it feels like presently this journey has come to a slow crawl okay um, there's still a desire to offer or put something out on the table with the Knight of Pentacles. But the challenge is, will it be accepted? And I feel like this person, this journey or this path that they were on with you, um, yeah, his, it, was, it was heading in that direction, but it's been slow. It's been a slow crawl, snail pace. Okay. Um, and I feel like maybe in some way this person was unsure about something. And so perhaps they pulled back or they just slowed down um, moving. Like they were still moving forward. So rather than speeding ahead at like 65 miles per hour, they slowed down to like 20 miles per hour. Okay, let me just take a look here and see what, oh, what was this? Why did it slow down? Okay, tower. Um, it feels like somebody here was fearful that something would fall apart. So if they sped too fast into connection or sped up this relationship or moved it forward, it would all come crumbling down. They had a fear of losing it all together. So this person, it, it feels like I'm just going to go slow. I'm just going to keep moving slow. And the, but the Four of Cups kind of makes me feel like the challenge for this person or the obstacle uh, 
it's they're not telling me fear, but it's something like oh, they just said become indifferent to this love so that you won't get hurt. Okay. Now just remember these roles can be reversed. This could be your energy, but I'm picking up that this is the energy of the person that you have a connection with in one form or another. Okay, so what's driving this person though, why they fully won't let you go or end this connection is because they feel chained to you with this devil card here, this shadow side. Okay, there's a lot of triggers. You trigger things in this person and it's too overwhelming for them to take a look at their fears and their triggers and things like that. But it, this, and so that's Capricorn energy. We have Scorpio energy. There's Mars, so it could be Aries as well. But this person, you know, what's driving them, what keeps them, whether they're speeding up or slowing down, what keeps them attached to you is that they can't let you go. In their mind, with the Four of Wands, they feel like there is something here. This person either wants to have some kind of reunion or reconnect with you, perhaps around the holidays, um, or just right now, okay, because maybe I'm also feeling like um, they want to marry you. This person thinks of you. This person like wants to have this lifetime thing, but they struggle with um, they struggle with love. Okay, the Four of Cups always makes me feel like it's a person who struggles with emotional availability. Okay, um, so they don't want to let you go, but they're fearful to speed towards you in case everything falls apart. You know, the Eight of Swords is here in the near future. This is like a, a feeling of being trapped by insecurity. Okay, so this person's got a very uh, difficult, uh, they're at war with themselves in their head and in their heart. And I always feel like this, the, what's driving is the heart and what's crowning is the head. Okay, and this person is completely attached to you maybe even to some degree of obsession or just you are someone everything they do every decision they make is based off of how you would feel what you would think what you would say okay they are base it's almost as if you control them in some manner without controlling them it's it's kind of like it's it's kind of like um I don't know they just keep giving me this word hijack <laughs> it's strange you are just you are just you're so embedded in this person's heart that any decision that they make it's almost as if they're not themselves and any decision you guys must have bonded in some way where two became one and anything they decide to do going forward in their life is is almost like they they check within their, their their heart and say, is this what my person would want? Or is this what is this? Would this please my person? It's just a very, very strong attachment. But in their head, you're it for them. Their, their foundation, you ground them, everything in their mind is connected to you. Okay, so why is the eight of swords showing up? Okay. Why is this trapped energy coming up in the future here? The stuck. I, they're telling me a feeling of being stuck. Feeling, feeling stuck. Okay. Stuck on you. Or, um, oh, okay. This person has self-worth issues when it comes to romance and love. Okay. Um, and stability. They, this person focuses more on their finances and their career and business because there's no love attachment. There's no inter deep, intimate, very deep romantic relationship involved with business. It's like a separate thing. Okay. And this person derives their sense of confidence and their ability to perform they gain all of that from their work and their career. But when it comes to 
deep love. This person has a very deep insecurity. They may even feel at times that they're not worthy of love. And I feel what's coming up here is this person's recognition of this about themselves. Okay. It's almost as if it's like they're, they're getting a glimpse of why this connection isn't why they're unable to move forward they have a deep fear of losing you because they're so incredibly attached to you so they just kind of keep it going slowly in some ways if if, if not directly with you maybe indirectly or in their mind and in their heart let me see here okay hmm yeah, this person has difficulty with romance and love. They have no problem with career and work, and they have no problem with um, their passions and the, and the lust and the things that light their soul on fire, okay? They might be a little bit unstable, in and out kind of energy, and I feel like this person is kind of waking up to that and, and realizing that they struggle with this. They have this deep insecurity. Okay, with love. Wow. All right. A lot of stuff, a lot of stuff with this person comes from the mother, I'm hearing. The mother or someone, maybe a, a mother of their children or a, another parent that they were connected to or just a mother. This person looks at you. They view you as divine, absolutely divine, almost too good for them almost too good for them you intimidate this person in some way okay in some way and it's very difficult for this person to see it through this love kind of connection it's hard for them to see it through because they view you as being much more worthy than they ever could view themselves and it's almost as if you might be loving someone who does not feel they're worthy of love and you might feel like you give or you try to love you just want to you know give this person a thousand squishy hugs every day if you could to reassure them but you feel like they will never be in, uh, convinced because and it's heartbreaking for you and your advice here is to recognize how you feel to recognize this heartbreak not only within yourself but within this person they may put on a front and they do put on a front for some of you that they um, are fine but they they remain emotionally detached because they don't feel like they're worthy of your love or just love in general see what else is your advice here I don't feel like this is so much to I mean in some regards if your heart is breaking you feel sad acknowledge how you feel but also understand that this person see that heartbreak within them that discord because they have that it hasn't it's not anything to do with you it's not that you are not good enough it's not that you are not worthy in fact you are more than worthy to this person it's how they feel about themselves and when someone you could love someone till you're blue in the face and keep on loving them but if they are never convinced no matter how much you give and how much you you love them that your your heart is true and you care it's there's nothing you can except just pray or hope for the best for this person that they get that healing and your advice here is to understand that about this person it was never that you weren't good enough for them you were more than good enough for this person what else is your advice here okay yeah i mean you were a wish come true you were almost or and you still are an unattainable wish the very thing that this person was hoping to acquire in this connection remember i said the eight of cups going for that ninth cup that was their path that was their journey to attain that with you okay but because they have such pain or such low self-worth or um, value they believe they're not worthy um, they may just have always kept trying but if they're not convinced of it within themselves 
that they're worthy of it how much like could they ever be convinced of it by you and this person is going you know what if you're not in communication with this person you will be they will be reaching out to you in a very matter-of-fact way not a romantic way there will be a, some type of a text message or something it's not going to be emotional um it's an, i don't see and i miss you i don't see i love you i see a very matter of fact way text message could be something like you know it's 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 kind of a mask it's kind of like um how's work going um uh, talk about current events, talk about <clears throat> inflation, talk about business things, because as I said, this is what they're good at. This is how they make that connection. Okay. And they know this about themselves, but they don't want to let you go. Okay. They, because they know that you, you are something that no one else has ever had currently has or will ever have like you are the person for them and obviously this person has to find a way to get over themselves and start believing that they're worthy of a great love and that they're valuable they have to believe that let me see what else okay yeah i mean here they are with the three of wands you know, this person has all kinds of things going on in their life behind them, and yet they stand on the edge here of this cliff, looking out to the horizon, thinking of you. So if you're at a distance to each other, or you just live across the water or in a separate town, they're always distracted by what could be. Always. And that's why there's a continual reach out, or that's why there will be, you know, to stay connected. Okay, your hopes and wishes is that there will be a uh, potential for growth here in this connection. I know that you wish for that. I know that you hope for that. <clears throat> My question is, will there be change with this person? I mean, I feel like you fear, though, that it will always be back to the drawing board it will always it will never get past the starting gate you have a fear of that but you hope for that Ooh, okay well you know i feel like they're going to keep trying and if you are you know you might be in a position here where you might feel like this person is your wish come true, but you might decide for some of you if, if this is just too much because this person is just not able to come to themselves. Um, you may just decide that, you know, take the heartbreak and go after your own wishes and fulfillment. Okay. And you, you might decide, you know, you have to heal your heart. This person has to heal their heart. Um, no matter how, you might just say, I've given the best I could give. And take the, take the pain, acknowledge it, and move on. And go after getting your own needs met for some of you. But I do see with the magician that, this, that they're going to keep trying to connect. I feel like you're always going to... See, in their mind, and I have to tell you this, in their mind, this person feels like you're always going to be that long lost dream that person that they can never have not because they can't but because they don't feel that they deserve it and they are always going to keep trying to manifest this connection and if you if you aren't already feeling this way you you will continue to say to yourself why do you keep coming back into my life but never seeing it through. And this is why. And it doesn't have anything to do with you because this person views you as more special than, than them and than anybody. They have you very high up on a pedestal. They see how um, alluring you are and maybe how successful and nurturing and how you are... You give life, you give birth to everything you do. This is how they feel about you. Everything you do, everything you touch, everything you say, you just have this magnetism. And they are 
like the magician, magnetically drawn to you. Okay, so the outcome here is the Two of Swords. Okay, so there's a decision that's being made here. I feel like you're going to make a decision by the end of August. Okay, I feel like you may be a little bit on the fence here once you hear this message and you're you might be questioning well should i wait what can i do you're going within and maybe talking to other people if this person reaches out to you again and trying to sort some stuff out within yourself and taking advice and listening to others but then going within and making a decision both of you it's not just it's not just you it's, it's both of you making some kind of decision. Let me see what this decision is going to be. Oh, gosh. Whether or not to reconcile. Whether or not to come back. Okay, Six of Cups. Whether or not to return to the past or keep it moving major decision because I feel like this person is going to be reaching out whether or not to return reconnect with them the soulmate energy or to push it away and just say no so you have a major you especially have a major decision to make um, because I feel like this person does want to come back does want to reach out to reconnect with you okay but like I said, it's a little bit of minimal effort, but for them, that's like a huge effort. And it's it's tough for you. It's it's a tough thing, right? Because you you want new love. You you definitely there's you know, some of you are in this position of like I just need to end this and go after my wishes and find someone who's going to fulfill my needs, my my romantic feelings and my needs and meet me in that place and some of you who may want to give this person a try again i do feel and maybe let me try to help you make your decision here okay mm -hmm. three of pentacles in the re reverse i do feel like this person is definitely going to be trying they're gonna keep trying they're not going to give up because of this devil card they are hooked to you attached to you hook line and sinker and they're going to keep trying and keep trying and keep trying okay that three of pentacles in the reverse they're they're going to like they know right now that you guys are not in any kind of connection uh that you guys are not um in alignment right now but they they want the desire there the reach out to keep trying to get into alignment this person's going to keep trying to find commonalities between you to stay connected and but where is the love where is this person's expression of love are they able to overcome and open their heart hmm, it's going to be tough the hermit this person is they keep their emotions and their feelings locked up deep down inside okay deep down inside look at that the moon and the hermit very dark hidden don't think for a second that this person is not in love with you they are they have a very deep attachment to you it's almost psychopathic <laughs> but they, they they don't reveal their emotions their feelings and the moon is is a card of very of depth of emotion it's so deep their feelings for you that to bring them up there's a fear that if they bring them up and out they will be it will allow you to control them so they have a very strong control so they keep things surface so that so that they don't succumb because love is vulnerability so they have deep insecurities and fear and that's what i said look <laughs> there's karma there's judgment you know all i can tell you right here is that if you decide to walk away and just say no more of this um, not out of hate or anger, but because you do love this person and you, there isn't anything that's for you, you may feel like it's not going to be able to go forward in the way you wish. The 
karma is going to like they're gonna have that wake-up call okay I do feel like that and so for some of you I feel like you may need to maybe have a conversation with that person if the opportunity arises and and you know or just detach with love in some way I do feel like this person's gonna have a wake-up call and get honest and truthful with themselves that if they don't find a way to reveal those feelings to some degree and open up because you are their purpose in life if they don't find a way to do that they could lose you forever and I do feel like they will come to that point now I'm not telling you to, to go and I'm not telling you to stay okay I feel like your advice here is when an opportunity arrives for you to figure out what you want to do take it okay whatever that means for you if that means facing your fears and leading this person in a direction or being truthful and honest with them because by saying to them until they open up or face their own fears and come out of isolation there can't be anything and you have to get out of this tumultuous these emotions here that are just like these crashing waves these these ripple water effects to either move on or face their fears okay and you may have to have that conversation with this person with love not with criticism or judgment or anger because you may you know be careful that you don't become judgmental or critical I feel like this person really does love you and they struggle within themselves they're they're in a war in their heart between their heart and their head they're absolutely in a war and that's not a battle you can fight for them all all you can do is just be supportive kind of like you know you can supply the weapons for them to fight that battle within but they have to be the one to do it they have to be the one to fight the battle okay let me just get a couple of um, Romance Angels cards here and see. Everybody's fighting a battle in their heads, in their hearts. Everybody. Every human. Okay. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take, so some of you may need to make some kind of last ditch effort for some of you okay if the opportunity arises to be honest and truthful to this person rather than waiting for them this person is is they're not going to make bold grand gestures or bold moves you may have to be the one to slice through that to open up Okay. There's chemistry here. There's a very strong magnetic attraction. And I feel like this person wants you to make the effort in a way that means initiate. Okay, the Queen of Swords initiates. Make an effort. Um, if you feel like this is something that you want to do, if the opportunity presents itself and you want to take this last ditch effort for yourself because this this person feels very like I said a very magnetic attraction here like this person cannot let you go but they have such deep-seated insecurity that they feel as if if they make the effort you'll reject them they expect that and you might you might reject this person if they if they were to make an effort because it wouldn't be like I said it, it doesn't feel like it's an effort that's really coming through as it feels like more of a practical effort rather than a love effort I think you yeah here you have very, very soon clarity to decide what you want so that comes to you now so you have a big decision coming up in August this person is going to connect with you but you have to make this decision. Do you want to be honest and truthful with this person? Tell them how you feel. Be clear and direct. Either telling them this is what you want and this is what you need. And if they're not able to do it, 
then you need to know that or you need to be clear with them about that so you can move on with your life or be clear and direct and tell them that you do love them and this is what you want with them and you hope that there's going to be some change and that they you will help them right but you have a decision what do you want do you want to be done and move on with your life or do you want to try to accept this reconciliation with this person because it seems to me like it's going to be on the table here in a very light fashion if it's not going to be a grand gesture of like oh i love you so much and i miss you so much and let's get you know be a couple forever and ever and open our hearts the lovers is not here okay not yet but this person does know that you you are their person so this is a difficult reading and i hope that none of you resonate with this reading love should just always be easy it should always be simple and free and it's not your battle to fight in someone else's head so take that into consideration when this decision comes up for you to make all right you guys i'm going to leave your reading there i hope that you um like i said i hope it doesn't resonate for you but if it does i hope it gives you some insight and i will see you guys tomorrow for your weekend reading all right take care